major and minor or two tonalities mm -hmm. or yeah. you know that you could synthesize like mm -hmm. you could have more than one reality happening at the same time mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you can have more than one perspective harmon you can have one oh, more than one tonal harmony center of harmony have happening and that's i mean the whole from the beginning of the sonata this the, uh, this chord here c sharp e c natural mm -hmm. so it's you know c uh, C E C sharp, C -sharp, C -sharp C minor and C major C happening in the same moment. Yeah, that's for me. That's like the you know that's the definition of the whole piece. Mm -hmm. And it's it's kind of what he did in his work, life's work with like co connecting folk peasant. You know his whole mm -hmm. the stuff yeah, started the uh, Kodai and him started in yeah. like nineteen twelve or nineteen oh seven like yeah, much yeah, earlier, I, I beginning of the nineteen oh something yeah. Yeah, you know, well, wax cylinder. They said wax cylinders really? is what they went out into the field, and they the people were just singing yeah, for them, singing and they would just record it. And then they went back, and then when he came to Colombia, I guess in the late thirties, he he like basically cattle like he organized it all. And the other book that I have, I don't have it here. Is it? It's like he 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 analyze the, them in terms of like the rhythmic motives, mm -hmm. what pitch they start on, what, do they end on like the so-called tonic, do they end mm -hmm. on a dominant, do they have leading tones, like mm -hmm. he kind of, I mean it's amazing what he did, it's like really totally, it yeah. it's crazy. Yes. Anyways, but, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll bring the other one tomorrow, I mean I have, there's more that I just didn't get, but I feel why this piece is like so important to me and his work I think is because I feel like he was suggesting an alternative way forward mm. for music yes. than the one that Schoenberg and, and the second Vienna school yeah. had proposed kind of there was a turning point in yeah. a way and yeah. he just wanted yeah. in, in, in and they went this way and he went this way and I think yeah I don't know I, I feel it's very relevant for our time because it's much more phenomenologically based like all of this it's it's and this is really interesting it's amazing and none of this has ever been i mean other than the wax cylinders no one has ever done anything with that mm. you know it's yeah. like it's and it's it's i mean no 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 and this right, is like this one is eight i mean there's there's okay. another file that i have here here, so current uh, uh, current number original edition uh, syllables. So he studies like the <laughs> like the number of syllables in the lines, last note of the section, range, rhythmic structure, structure A B A, remarks. Like he kind of analyzes, you know, and so, so I think work. well because what he was trying to do is he was responding to. I think the the mathematical kind of like mm -hmm. perfection of the tone row, mm -hmm. and that Schoenberg they were really like you know. The supremacy of German music and the supremacy of German, Thinking. German th or you know s Central European, you know. Uh, um, Logic. Logical, logical thinking, logic. and they're like folk music is not logical. No. It doesn't. It cannot compare. There's no way that it has. Yes. You know. And I think what he was trying to do is he was trying to say, no, 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 it can. I think that was yeah, his, yeah. that was his, you know, mm -hmm. that it, 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 it is as perfect yeah. aesthetically. But he, but he had to but, really but, but he had to, you know, study, he study. had to, yeah, 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 no, 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 work? yeah, like, and so, I, I don't know, I have no idea, but I, I, you know, I know that he, and I think, I think it's relevant because the whole like thing about timbre, at least you know what we studied at, in, my, in, my, in Stony Brook and all that. It's all like part of the reason that it's it's so difficult. To, you know, it's because it doesn't fit into like the easy that yeah. like melody, harmony, exactly. rhythm. Like these, they're so they're so easy to like to define, to kind of, and to say you know this is. But, this, but when you start talking about Sorry, like and and all, yeah. Anyway, so yes, right. I don't know. I think this is amazing. And, this, and then again, color like your bows, no? Right. One yeah, yeah, yeah. One bow is completely. Clearly, it does not shine. Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, it's more you, it's more accurate. It's like more it's, accurate it's, 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 but it does not it, it doesn't have even, the, even when you tune. Really? You when hear you it. Tune, you hear it. Oh, this is a beautiful song. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one, okay, it's a yeah. low, it's a yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's not not that it has the same beauty of mm -hmm. the the beauty of color. Much more shiny colors, different colors. Colorful colors, yeah. let's see. Okay. 